Hey everybody, today is going to be short and sweet, so really all we're doing is adding a welcome message to our shell. So, if we open our terminal, it's going to look something like this. You will have a long and unpleasant discussion with your supervisor. That one is probably very true. <laughs> so, that fortune is probably very true. So, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, mine is fortune with Kause, so really all that's in there is this guy. And that's what it is. So, that's really all that's getting run when I boot it. That's really literally all it is. I could also go Control Alt T, Control Alt T a couple more times, and as you can see, I get it each time, right? So it's on each one. How do I do that? Well, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to use Vim, and just make sure you're in your home directory. Do your little tilde in your home directory, and then what I so I use ZSH like a boss. I highly recommend it if you aren't using ZSH. It is the best. But basically, I'm just going to edit ZSH. Go all the way to the bottom. Here's my code, right? I have Nick's custom code. And it's just calling that command, right? That's really all it's doing. So what I can do is I can get rid of this. I'll show you how I do this. So I'll get rid of this. And I'll just do source. Okay, that loads it back in. And if you noticed, it doesn't do it anymore, right? It doesn't do it anymore. So oh, let's just do this, this, okay. Let's open this up again. All right, so you don't see it anymore. Really, all we have to do is go editing so, uh, package, right? In this case, I'm using Vim, ZSHRC. In, in <clears throat> here's the thing. You can do this with bash, too. Um, if you go list all, and really what you can do, I'll just do... Uh, so it's, it's in here, too, right? You can do the same thing here. But I just have ZSH, and again, I recommend it. So I'm doing it with the ZSHRC file. But So I go Vim, ZSHRC, go all the way to the bottom, literally all the way to the bottom, past the comments and everything. This is where I recommend it. I'm just going to do it again, Nick's custom code. And then we're just going to call fortune pipe cause. Right quit. Source again, always remember to run source. And there it is. So one second, I think I had a typo. So let's let's fix that real quick. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Source, bam, bam. There it is. It works. It's that simple and it's that cool. So <laughs> it's super easy to do really cool stuff like that. So see, this is why I love Linux so much. It's super easily customizable. Um, if you have a somewhat beginner level knowledge of customizing stuff you can do cool little stuff like this and it really helps that i use linux as my daily driver so i get really used to it pretty quickly um, i'm also a developer and stuff so <laughs> it's it's just the best in general but yeah hope this helps uh hope you can have a cool little intro message or do whatever you really want to do when your terminal starts up and when your shell officially starts up so anyways i hope this is helpful uh please like and comment and if you really liked it please subscribe Thank you so much, and uh, hope to release some videos soon for you. All right, bye.